Hey guys, it's Austin back with another inflatable review today. In today's video, we're going to discuss an inflatable that for me has been really much an interest. And also, I've had a lot of history with this one sitting right before me. Today, we're going to be unboxing and reviewing the 2022 BJ's Ghoul Trio that has animation on the ghost, short circuit technology in the tombstones as well as the ghost. And it also comes with a sound box that plays spooky sounds. And this will be, this year my Halloween display, this will be my third different built-in sound box inflatable. I'm not going to probably do the Pop Goes the Evil this year just because it's animation last year wasn't really good. As well as the fact I just really want to do something different this year. Especially make this the centerpiece of my graveyard is the main reason I went after this one. But, um... If you want to start back to my interest in this disinflatable in general, you have to kind of go back to during the post year of the COVID-19 pandemic, whenever we really started, excuse me, getting out of like, you know, just my busiest time of my life, which was college. And I was just so busy studying and doing a lot of homework. And at the time I had just started getting back into inflatables in 2022 because through 2021 and 2020, I really didn't buy too many new inflatables. But then I saw the 2022 Halloween lineup drop, and that year, in my opinion, we got some bangers in that lineup. I mean, we got loads of a ton of animated inflatables. Uh, as a matter of fact, I own two of their animated inflatables from that year with the witch crashed into the tree and the clown with the mallet that earns its head. And then I also got the 18-foot-tall vampire jack that year. And then I also ended up getting the animated haunted house from Big Lots, the walkthrough haunted house from Sam's Club. And then while I didn't buy any inflatables from At Home that year, At Home started really getting very big on making the 20 foot tall inflatables and such, where they released the 20 foot tall pumpkin stack that year. And this one and that one were kind of high on my radar last year, but for some very complicated reasons, I wasn't able to get this one. The first reason was I tried buying it from another company called My Bounce House for Sale, and I honestly didn't really have that good of an experience with them because they were taking pre-orders when I bought mine, but then they claimed they would not actually have the shipment in until November, which by that point, I already had my Halloween stuff out, and I was like, you know, they had some other sound box designs last year I was looking to buy, including the Haunted Mansion organ player and the werewolf that howled from, like, Target. And I just, I kind of, this one kind of fell on the back burner for me last year, which is why in that video, in that instance, time and period, I just decided to cancel the order altogether. Although I didn't really get a full refund. So that kind of tainted my experience with that company and I swore them off. So, but as luck would have it later in the year, Yard Inflatables ended up getting more of these in a box and just as big of a fan of I, as I am of this design and just, you know, the characters you get with it, the short circuit technology and the animation, paired with that sound box, which I believe is a um, a re-release of the sound box from like the BJ's Archway, I think in 2015. I just, I love that soundtrack. It's also gonna, I think, blend really well with like the eeriness of the graveyard as well. If you mix it with like fog and some other props around it, I think it's really gonna make for a very spooky graveyard scene this year. But, um... In general, I could say from 2022, this is the one I think that I didn't get that was going to be the crowning add to my collection, just because I got largely the majority of like all the popular inflatables that year. Now, obviously, there are some, I think, from Lowe's and a few other retailers that I unfortunately didn't get to pick up, which down the road may be on my list, but for now, like where my Halloween display is kind of maxed, although I am willing to make some substitutions just to get models like this in it. I, this is kind of, you know, my last big one that I'm going to get this year for Halloween because I've already got the animated head-turning cat that's 20 foot tall from At Home as well as the 20 foot tall Airflows, which I bought from At Home to pair with that one. So you'll see a review of the head-turning cat here very soon. And if you haven't checked out my review of the 20 foot tall witch, I'd highly encourage you guys to go check that out on my channel as well. But um, enough chit-chat, let's get into the actual unboxing part of the video. If you want to have a little tour around the box... You have the front of it, which has the render of the inflatable with your big air blown inflatable from Jimmy local on the front. Short circuit gold trio with tombstones, giant animated. You get some stats down here, lights up, the waist on the ghost turns, that's where its animation point is. Creates an eerie display of flickering light, which uh, describes the short circuit effect, friend or outdoor use, and then play spooky sounds. 
And then this inflatable does top out at nine and a half feet. I believe that's at the top of this ghost. I think like maybe his hands were just his fingers extend above his head just slightly. And then of course you've got the pumpkin reaper over on the side and you got the black cloaked reaper with the scythe in his hand. On the top, you got another massive Jimmy Airblown Inflatables logo with a art inflatable stickers because that's where I purchased mine from. I didn't get mine from BJ's. And then, let's see here, this side overall looks the same. But then you make it to the back of the box, you have the size comparison to a average size human being. I think that my head will probably come to the scythe on the reaper because i think the reaper itself i think is maybe five and a half feet tall but i think the scythe might make it six foot tall so i think that might be the tallest point up to my bot to my body on the inflatable i'll be interested to get this inflated because i've also not seen many people compare this like to the height of an actual human being yet and i'm very interested to see that myself and then ironically enough this does have a 2022 jimmy's core from like where it's built and made and at first, I was kind of wondering, like, well, since it was a later shipment, did they have any, like, overstock that they had from BJ's back in 2022, and they were just keeping it kind of on the back burner for, like, next Halloween because they didn't want to have, you know, it displayed during the off-season on the website because they were afraid of sales lagging on this. And from what I saw, I've been following this for about nearly half a year, and I've been, like, you know, really watching this to see is people going to buy this just because I know – as popular as the design was and as many collectors as I see have it in their videos, I was afraid that this may sell out, but I was holding out hope that I could grab one before they started selling really quickly. So I think last I checked, they had seven left in stock, just if anybody else is interested in getting one. I, I'd highly recommend it. I think it's going to be a good addition to a graveyard, especially for the fact that it has a sound box. But um, yeah, it, it, plus if you want to get this on yard fails, by the way, this is two hundred and nine ninety nine, and I think it don't come with no tax or any shipping because you can usually get by with the tax and the shipping on yard fails because it's all included in the standard price. But um, enough chit chat. We'll get to the unboxing. Okay, let's open up the box. Sticky little thing. First, I thought it was like already cut open. And things, they already come. In. Could they already just try to test it or something? That'd be kind of weird because I've never seen yard fellas do that. This does have that tape pattern on the side of the back, which didn't make a whole lot of sense. I'd rather just do it in the center at the top of the back. Oh, you're starting to see the fabric poke out of the top. Let me lay this bone down while I try to cut this corner. I ripped the flap because this tape is really strong. Okay. Finally got the box open. But yeah, some of the fabric, as you can see, is already put one out. So let me get the bag, pull it out of the box. Not gonna lie, it's a heavy one. Because it also comes equipped with a YEF 200 fan, too, which we'll get into in a little bit. But yeah, so basically, this huge block is your inflatable. Let's see if I can find the stake pack. It might be here in the middle. Yeah, here it is. But yeah, it comes with your standard Jimmy, like jagged stakes, as well as like, your base pins to pin down the base. And I believe that there's a tether attachment, I think, on each side of like the brown grave gra like the ground like where the, the gravestones are putting the ground on the inflatable so i believe that you're also able to base it from those areas as well but um anyway i'm going to cut recording and try to get this thing unfolded and outside so i can try to plug it up real quick so it's all y'all stay tuned okay we got it all unboxed now on the ground you may notice it is a little bit bulged out because i did plug it up initially just to test the sound on it to make sure because i know like we have some neighbors around over here and i don't want them to hear the sound out here so i did test it just to be sure the sound is cut off and midway through the review i will turn it on just to give you guys like one or two loops of what the sound sounds like but i'm going to make sure like it ain't like you know blaring it out here and such it's, you know obviously it's very random where i'm kind of filming this so 
anyways, I will show you guys how this one inflates because it has a YEF 200 fan. It should stand up on its own pretty quickly, at least from what I've seen anyway. Okay, here goes nothing. I'm just going to cut out the light so you guys can kind of appreciate the lighting on it. But anyway, I give you guys the 2022 Ghouls, BJ's Ghoul Trio. And let me just say up front, this thing is massive. I mean, that ghost, you don't know how tall it is just on video. I mean, let me come up here and get a little close to it and I'll show you what I mean. That thing is absolutely ginormous. Like I'm standing next to it and it just does not even seem like real how tall it is. And then here's the Reaper with the scythe and actually he's about as tall as me in terms of how tall he inflates. His scythe is probably about at a seven foot point, I think. But yeah, he and the other character is massive on the other end, which this thing in general is just a massive inflatable. Come over here, we have the Pumpkin Reaper. I don't know, is this guy supposed to have like a C7 in his head? Because it looks like he has two in his body, but the only thing that lights up on him is his like LED eyes and such. That's the only thing I kind of wonder about him is like, is this thing gonna supposed to have a light up in it? Because it looks like his C is kind of like right here. And I don't know, could that have fallen out of his head? But it does look like the, cloak reaper on the side over there also only has two c7s in its body and its eyes are the only thing you really see on the body but i'd say where i have will have special light effects in the graveyard this year i think this thing will light up well but i think even the short circuit tombstones and the ghost itself will make this thing just a showstopper but on the tombstones you got a cross skull you got a skull with wings and an r.i.p and then you've got a tense frisky cat over here on the one in front of the pumpkin reaper and looking at the inflatable, it has, it looks like two C7s in the Pumpkin Reaper. And then looking at the, the Cloaked Reaper with the scythe, it looks like it has one, two down in it as well. And red LEDs for the eyes on this one. And then green LEDs for the eyes on the Pumpkin Reaper. And then the Ghost. The tomb, each tombstone has one and a piece in it. I think it's like a bit of a slight breeze coming, so I'm gonna have to go back here and hold it up or something because this ghost is very top heavy i will also mention as well hope you guys can hear me over the fan blaring because this thing is so loud and such but the ghost has one two it has two leds at short circuit in it and let me pull down its skirt to hide, a, hide the, the emanation mechanism as well but it looks to me like in total this thing has five leds for the short circuit technology and the actual characters have like two a piece in them. But this is what it looks like from the back. And down here in the very back is where you got the sound box that plays the spooky sounds. I am gonna turn those on for just a brief moment. I'm not gonna turn them up super loud just because obviously the neighbors and such, but I do just wanna give you guys an emphasis of what this thing sounds like. Yeah, I'm not a 
But yeah, that's just kind of an emphasis of what it sounds like with the sound. Very, very much like a classic Jimmy sound. I'm having to play it kind of faintly just because, you know, I don't want to play it very loud either, especially with like the lights on this thing. So I will probably blare this a lot louder in my graveyard this year during Halloween though, but I don't know how well you guys can hear that because the sound box, like a lot of the other designs, is in the very back of the inflatable, which makes it maybe a little harder to hear from the front. So I hope you guys can hear that. Let me take you guys to the back again and I'll play it like a little bit closer to your the phone where the speaker is on it. Honestly, I feel like this thing's going to be a pretty surround sound loud, and I didn't know how loud it was going to be at first, but so far it don't sound like it's too bad, but I think I definitely, you know, especially after, like, not falling, you definitely want to cut this thing off because there's that big crash of thunder in it, so... But anyway, you guys kind of get the point of what that sounds like. It's very classic Jimmy-esque, like, you know, the very spooky voice. And then you have, like, a howling werewolf and, like, a, I think a witch or, like, a hag on there, like, talking. And then you have, like, um, a, scr a screaming girl that's, like, a banshee and such. Very similar to, like, a derivative, I think, of a sound that I have on my SS my SF motion box, I think, for, like, my haunted house that I use. And then I also had a fx motion box that i put in the graveyard last year which this year i'm probably going to reposition that one i actually thought about turning my 20 foot tall head turning cat into a sound box design this year as well just because i think with the scale that thing is and just you know the animation i think that the sound box being set to that that that, that growling cat i think is going to make it a very cool wow factor i think on top of the size and the animation as it is but that's just a small little random note but Overall, I'm really happy with this inflatable. I think that it's probably one of my favorite ones I've bought in a while, honestly, just because one, there was already the intrigue from seeing it back in 2022 and not being able to originally get it. And I held off for a while, but I am kind of glad that I held off about it because I mean, as they say, absence makes the heart grow fonder. So, I mean, it made it just so much more fun to review whenever I actually got it out of the box after it's been two years since this thing was originally released. And just seeing this in person out in front of me right now is just surreal because I freaking love the design. And I mean, as a collector who loves just that classic Jimmy feel, this thing definitely checks all the boxes off. And just, I cannot be more happier with how this thing looks. But anyway, let's get to the rating. Okay. In terms of price, this one retailed originally at BJ's for $199.99. You're getting a sound box, you're getting short circuit technology, you're getting three characters, an animated ghost, a pumpkin reaper, and a cloaked reaper with a scythe. This thing just screams before PG era Jimmy. It don't look kid friendly. It's got some very spooky elements to it, especially with that cloaked reaper with the very, very ready to ready to strike eyes. And then the Pungan Reaper even kind of looks a little gangly and like, you know, it's ready to do some damage as well. The ghost, the ghost is where I think it really kind of is like, you know, down the middle of gray area, you could consider it kid friendly, but I think also where it has like the woo expression on it, it kind of makes it a little bit, you know, like, like, hey, here, I, I'm really here. My goal is to scare you and such. But in general, I'd say it looks a little off. I think they could have definitely gone for a more scary expression on that. And it makes me wonder down the line where we get a re-release of this with a more scary looking ghost and a different sound box soundtrack. I mean, honestly, that'd be kind of a funny thing if it were to drop a year after I buy this or like them to drop a new design like literally this year somewhere. And I'd probably make me very triggered as well. But um, in general, this thing, it just, it screams just classic Jimmy. I can't get over saying that. But um, back to the price, I kind of got off on a tangent there. I think for what you're getting, I mean, yeah, obviously price, I think everybody kind of has a barrier and a price to what they'll pay. But to me, for as cool of a design as this is, I think even just paying $10 over what the original retail was, it's more than worth it for me. So price, I'm probably going to give it about an 8 out of 10 just because I think, yeah, people might have a budget. And this is definitely not for somebody with a budget, but for a collector, I think this is just perfect the way it's priced. In terms of value, I mean, going back to the price, you've also got, like I said, consider how many lights you're getting in this. 
it's a pretty easily to say this is a showstopper which is with the short circuit technology but you add in like that sound box it's going to make this thing just so unavoidable i mean you cannot help but look at this thing as you go down the road especially when i surround it with all my other group of inflatables especially like the haunted houses the classic ghost tombstone that i have and i'm going to display this next to as well as just the, the graveyard as a whole this thing is going to amp it up to another level so i mean in terms of value i mean you're getting a lot for what you're paying for i mean you're getting short circuit technology you're getting animation you're getting three different character pieces along with tombstones to go with them to make the lighting even better and more spooky so i think overall value i'd give this thing about a nine out of ten i mean it's probably one of the best values you're probably going to get in terms of just something that comes of every bell and whistle that any inflatable can come with i mean it's kind of like people back the year that this thing was released was saying the only thing this thing is missing is like maybe a kaleidoscope in the head of the pumpkin reaper and then maybe you could have the reaper side go up and down with like an animated motor in its arm but aside from that you've got about every single thing in an inflatable you would want just with this one design so nine out of ten i think is pretty fair out of design now i think there are many ways you can kind of describe design when it comes to this one on one hand the, the the reaper with the scythe and the pumpkin reaper look very menacing and very you know like hey we're here to do some very serious scaring or like just what their goal is in terms of the scene and then you got the ghost it looks a little like it's trying to be a little goofy i mean it just like it looks like you know it's like trying to scare somebody and i think i definitely see what they were trying to do with it but at the same time, I think just when you compare it to the other two characters around it, I just don't think, you know, it kind of fits all other than to be a great illumination piece for as well as it lights up. And then to also sink in with those tombstones down in front of it, I think is the other purpose of it. But in generalization, I think in terms of just the characters, I think the, the Cloak Reaper and the Pumpkin are definitely all free. Those two are a 10 out of 10. The Ghost, I think I'd probably give it about a 6 out of 10 individually just because I feel like, they could have gone a whole lot more kid friendly, but they could have also gone a whole lot more scary. I think it's kind of in the middle, like where I think it works really well just because it's a ghost and typically what do you see in graveyards ghost or what do you associate with graveyards for people who are skeptics and such. But um, in general, I think in terms of design and then if you're also factoring in the fact that it has short circuit technology, animation, and it also comes with its own soundtrack, I think this thing is easily a 10 out of 10 in terms of design. I think it's an incredible design for what Jimmy did with this, and I think down the road it definitely gives me hope that we could see more like this that have a light show in it, especially since this is my first ever light show inflatable that I bought. And in terms of wow factor, I mean, it's kind of like the Colossal Inflatable. I mean, yeah, it's not got the height and the scale to it, but in terms of width and in terms of just how big each character is and the short circuit technology this thing has got to be a 10 out of 10 i mean you're not going to get more noticeable in terms of an animated inflatable that ranges between like six and nine feet you're not going to get a better wow factor out of any other inflatable than this in my opinion so i mean you got the light show you got the sound you've got the short circuit light effects you've got the free characters all looking very menacing like they're ready to come out and go on a scaring spree so i mean this thing just screams wow factor so easy 10 out of 10 for wow factor so you average that score together, it comes to a 10, an 8, and then a 9. I'm trying to think. An 8, I think it was two 9s, an 8, and a 10. So I think that is 36 on the, the, scale, the rating scale. So if you guys want to get a classic and one that I think was very high on people's list back in 2022, I definitely highly suggest picking this one up. It makes a perfect a perfect statement piece for any graveyard or any display and i think it's definitely going to get some attention on your display no matter whatever else you have around it whether you buy from your local store or whether you like going online and buying like rare ones or like vintage ones so i think this thing is gonna look really good in my display i'm really looking forward to how much light it gives like my yard because it's gonna be like smack dab down in the center of it that's where i'm putting my cemetery at display this year but in general i cannot be more happy with this inflatable and i am so glad that i picked this up and I just hope you guys enjoyed this video because it's been just a very full circle moment for me that I just, I dreamed of getting this inflatable since it was released. And then I finally managed to get it. And I just have such enjoyed making this video. But anyway, comment, like, and subscribe. And I hope to catch you guys on another review coming very, very soon. Almost to Halloween, guys.